Hey, my name's Steve, and today's video is going to be an interesting one. It's on the concept and the topic of is everything on purpose, especially when things go bad, okay? So um, I had something recently happen. That's why I want to talk about it. I was a bit frustrated by it, but then realizing the perfection in it, and I want to talk about it in this video. So this is like where, um, in this case, it was a deal that fell apart for me, a client deal. It's when relationships go sideways. It could be when you lose or leave a job. Okay, um, or other relationships fall apart. At the end of the day, it's about relationships. And are all of these things happening, all these relationships that seem to like eradicate or erode, is it on purpose, right? That's the, that's the ultimate question. So I'm gonna first of all share my story. So talk to this guy two weeks ago. I've known the guy for six or seven years. We, I'm not gonna mention any names. We decided to jump on a call. He decides he wants to use our services for a marketing that we do. Um, we get to our call today. He no-showed. He hadn't paid the invoice or anything. I was okay with all of that. Um, but what was really interesting is, is that an hour later, I had a call with one of my clients. And I had sent a promotion about this guy to my list. And my client had said that um, when she got on the phone for the strategy session with the sales call, the guy basically blew her off and said, you know, we can't, I can't talk to you. You didn't watch our 90 minute webinar. And I was like, that's weird. And so that's the part where I was just like, oh, that didn't feel aligned with me. I'm like, uh, if someone wanted to book a call with me and it was a legitimate call. I wouldn't blow them off and say, you didn't go watch my webinar. I'd talk to them. <laughs> it's just crazy, right? So anyways, long story short is, I realized that there was a misalignment in the relationship. It was never going to work anyways. So that's why it fell apart. And it actually was on purpose. And now I'll explain why. I'll give you some examples. Okay. So I'm going to go to my, uh, my cheat sheet here, whiteboard. So in this case, we got two timelines. Okay. One timeline is the timeline that this individual is on. And the other timeline is the timeline that I'm on. Okay. Now, 3 hertz and 5 hertz are arbitrary, but they are frequencies of vibration. And when you connect with people that are in a different timeline, you're going to sense the difference. And I'm going to talk about the differences. Okay? And this could be people that you're married to. It could be uh, clients. It could be any relationship. It could be people in your family or even close friends. In this case, I'm going to use a business example because that's what this was. So when it comes to business, in terms of my timeline... These are the things that are important to me, that I'm compassionate and caring, meaning that other people are more important than me in the relationship. I want to make sure that I understand how they feel and I want to take care of their needs, okay? There's got to be trust. I'm one of those people that I will naturally trust someone up front. You know, you don't have to prove your trust to me. I will, I will give it to you, okay? So that's, that could be a, a negative or a positive thing, but that's just how I'm built, okay? And I'm going to talk a lot about that in this video. And to give you a funny story, so we were in Montreal, my wife and I were in Montreal, ooh, 14, 15 years ago, and um, we parked our car, and it was, we didn't realize that we parked our car, it was like, at this hotel, it was a sketchy area of Montreal. The hotel was nice, but the area was sketchy, and we didn't end up hanging out there in Montreal, but we got out of the car, and we walked like 100 feet, and this guy comes up to us and says, hey man, I'm really down on my luck, can you spare like 100 bucks, or whatever it was. And I was like, sure, I was ready to go to the bank, the ATM, to take the money out. My wife's like, no, you're not. <laughs> this guy's a scam artist. Like, she didn't say that out loud. She's like, no, we're not doing that. And, um, you know, he's a scam. And, you know, and it was like, it was funny because when we came back to the car, we saw him walk up to some other people um, and we overheard him say, use the same line. Was he a scam artist or not? I have no idea. But, that's just who I am. I'm bringing that up because I trust people intrinsically, okay? So that trust is usually there. Unless like you do something really, if I meet you within the first 30 minutes, you do something really obvious that breaks that trust, I will give it to you, okay? And I want others to be generally successful. I want that for them, okay? So that's the timeline. That's how I vibrate. These are my best clients, by the way, because they, they want all these things for their clients. They, they, they're compassionate, caring, they trust, they have trust with them, and they want others to be successful, okay? That's what's most important to my clients. That's what's most important to me when I work with someone like this, and I'm in sync with them. I'm gonna talk about some of the some of the 
examples of it, but these are some of the things that happen when this is working. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. Now here's the other side. So this is the gentleman that I was talking to. He's a nice guy. I got nothing against him, right? I have no hatred, no, you know, I was frustrated myself for not recognizing it in the first meeting. The first meeting we had, it was about the transaction. It was about money. And I was like, I remember getting off the call, the first call we had a couple weeks ago and saying with my wife, I can't believe there's still, like, you're going to die, I'm going to die, we're all going to die at some point physically and we're going to go and transition into some other place, okay? Or some other energy, some other frequency. And what's really interesting is that if you were to think about that death scenario now, the croaking, you know, end of your body here on this earth, would you really think about making money? It's like the furthest thing from your mind, right? So these people are focused on transaction the money. And I just thought that was really interesting how that was the most important thing versus being compassionate for human beings. Okay. So that was one thing. Number two is these people generally are natural skeptics. They'll, they, they're like the opposite of me. So instead of being trusting intrinsically, they naturally don't trust intrinsically. And the last thing is, like I said here, I want others to be successful. In this case, the other opposite frequency that is I want to be successful. It's about me building this massive business and being successful versus I want others to be successful. I'm not saying he doesn't want others to be successful. I'm just saying as a priority, it seems to be these are at the top of his list versus this. Okay, so now you've got this oil and water mix where you've got two different vibrations that don't naturally match up. Now what happens is that we had to reschedule our meetings. Uh, he had a no-show, which is fine. Like I said, I'm not nothing personal about him, but it's the fact that it's not easy and it doesn't flow, right? It's like it's not flowing. Why? Because we're in two different frequencies. We're trying to align based on, you know, these totally different set of priorities and values. And because of that, it makes it difficult for it to work. And so the people that I work with, and again, I'm just speaking with clients as far as client relationships, that tend to be the best clients are when it's in the flow, when it's easy, when things happen quickly, it's like, boom, make a decision, start first, next meeting, next meeting, boom. Now we're starting to roll deals. Things are rolling in for you. Everything's rolling. Like we, our 30 day program, it happens fast, right? There's no trying. And this is really important is that we're not trying to make something work. It's like, it's working. It's just working. Um, it works the first time, right? And I'm just being who I am and they're just being who they are, right? Now, someone who's like this on this timeline is going to, this is their natural state. Since this is their natural state to be transactional, you know, their natural skeptic, they, and they want to be successful, okay, those are the priorities of their state of being. They will work really well with a client that thinks and feels and has values that are in the same priority. For me, I need someone like this. That's what I need. I need this in my relationships, my close relationships, my friends, uh, but also with my clients because if they want that for other people, I want that for them. They're attracted to me because of this, this here, right? So when everything's rolling, at the end of the day, when I have my marketing rolling and I have people wanting to speak with me, I usually speak to three people a week, three, four people a week, all year long, meeting new people. The thing that breaks the deal or makes it stick Right, And what I mean is that if they become a client or not, it always comes down to this. right? Are they these things? And if they are, you betcha they're going to become a client because I'm very attracted to that because they're attracted to me. It's the same. Like attracts like. And then when we start working together, all these things happen. Now, let me just give you another example. So when I was uh, working with construction companies, I'd worked with four in one year. Guess what would happen? It wasn't in the flow. We had to keep scheduling meetings over and over again. It wasn't easy. It didn't, things didn't happen quickly. It was very slow. I had to dry a lot. I had to really work it. It did not work the first time. We had multiple attempts. And um, I was being who I was, but I also noticed that it wasn't easy for us to get to the point where I could be who I am. In other words, I could still be who I am, but there was always like all these other things that were not working. 
rescheduling of meetings. Now we got to get a contract out and then we got to wait two months and then we got to do this. And it was just like, it took forever. So the alignment's not the same. And, and it's not because those types of clients are focused here. It's because they were on a different timeline from where I was, which is these things. So again, I'm just saying that if you are naturally being a person who's trusting, you want others to be successful, you're carrying compassion, those are your going to be people that are going to be clients for you, okay? And I know I kind of dove a little deep on the business examples, but I just wanted to share that because it's just like what I'm going through right now. And I'm like, was frustrated because I was like, oh, I've got this person, but I didn't identify them as that type of person. I was like, oh, this is a person I can help. But it, it doesn't matter if I can help them. If they don't have the same priorities and focus as I do, then what happens is, we get all this other things happening, rescheduling, weird, douchey things they're doing on their sales team, right? Like turning down a person didn't go to the webinar and just like weird things that I'm like, I would never do that. I would never turn down someone if they booked a call with me um, and they were qualified lead and just say, hey, you know what? You got to watch my 90 minute webinar before we talk. No, we're talking now. Let's talk. So is everything on purpose? Um, I believe it is. I believe that's why this deal fell apart. I believe that if you're married right now and you're getting divorced, that that's on purpose. I believe that if there's people in your life that are falling away and no longer relevant in your life at this point in time, it's because of the same thing. Their priorities are different than your priorities, which is creating different frequencies of vibration. Deals falls apart. Relationships go sideways. You lose or leave a job other relationships that fall apart. Is it all on purpose? A hundred percent. Because if you were this person, you would attract people on this timeline and you would feel good about it. That's the difference. Where if you attract someone's like this in your relationships, in a job, in your business, all of a sudden that's perfect because it feels aligned. It feels like everything's in sync. Okay. So I hope you found that useful and helpful. Thanks for watching and listening. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I'd love for you to subscribe. If you want to get more videos like this, I have a book coming out this year called The 7-Day Manifestation Experiment, How You Create Your World. There's a link down below. If you click on it, it'll bring you to the waiting list. You can get on that. And I'm going to give you my quantum manifestation training for free, one video a week if you get on the waiting list. Thanks again for watching. My name's Steve, and we'll talk to you next time.